Good morning and welcome to my off-camera co-host, Jeff. Good morning. I'm going to hype up you a little bit more. People are going to be like, put that Jeff on screen. <laughs> We're sick of not seeing him. I know you guys. I'm very lucky. All right, let's see what's in Cornerstone today. Volunteers are needed for an emergency exercise event. Volunteers, you can be a point of dis... Oh, there's an emergency exercise coming up this week. Uh, to One of the things, Jeff, when an emergency happens, the last thing you want to be do is figuring out how to cope with the emergency. You've got to get to work. So the only way to do that is to practice like a horror, the most horrible thing can happen. And then if it's not that horrible, at least you know what's going on. So that's what's happening this week. Gonna, uh, there's going to be a crisis uh, exercise. The Alaska Shield 2019 emergency exercise is April 10th through the 12th. As part of that, UAF will hold a, host a point of dispensing exercise event uh, at the Hess Rec Center on Friday. Setup is at 10 a.m. and activities are done by 2 Members of the community will see uh, stuff going on there. Volunteers are needed to be patients from noon to one and to receive simulated medication, which will be candy. Nice. nice. No, it's not nice. <laughs> if you're going to get fake medication. It might as well be candy. I guess that's true. Uh, but it's going to be a very scary thing that's going on. So it's not like, ooh, give me my candy. It's more like, save my life. Anyway, so I need some volunteers. You can read more about it in the Cornerstone. Um, it's a great way to help first responders uh, prepare for an emergency. And then right below that, pie in the face fundraising contest. Oh, let me tell you this story, Jeff. Let me go on a little, let me go on a little down a little. Cast your mind back to the 80s. Mm -hmm. yes. I was a young man, 10, 11 years old, maybe. No, that would be a little later than that, 14 maybe. And I really, I watched a lot of TV and I wanted to know what it was like to get a pie in the face. So I asked my mom, mom, will you make a pie and then push it in my face on my birthday? Okay. She was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, yes, I'm curious to know what that feels like. And she did. You know what it feels like? Gooey yes. <laughs> is what it feels like. Hopefully it's entertaining for the people on the other side. But the College of Engineering and Mines is holding a pie in the face contest to raise funds for the American Heart Association. Vote for the CEM staff or faculty you think should be pied. Oh, Bill Schnabel's going to get pied. Nathan Bells, Billy Connor, Tanagata Ghosh, Chris Hartman, Derek Miller, Rorick Peterson, and Bill Schnabel. Votes are $1. Sounds like Jeff is going to go vote $5 for six votes to get Bill Schnabel pied. <laughs> anyway, that's coming up. Um, there's more of that in the Cornerstone, of course. Thanks for listening to my little anecdote of getting pied in the face. Uh, and then, oh, looks like there's a, a documentary going to be shown. Dawnland, tomorrow from 6 to 9 in the Scheibel Auditorium. Dawnland tells the story of the Maine Wabanaki State Child Welfare Truth and Reconciliation Committee, the first in the U.S. to address Native issues. Dawnland takes viewers to Wabanaki communities inside the Truth Commission as it grapples with the meaning of truth, reconciliation, racial healing, tribal autonomy, and child welfare reform. That is, wow, there is a lot going on when you go see Dawnland. Uh, this Friday. That's that's an important discussion to be having. So you can be part of that right here on the Fairbanks campus. All right. Thank you very much, Jeff. Hope you have a good day out there. Thank you, Andrew. Bye.